everyone, me again, welcome back to X Media X. I hope you are well. So I have had so many requests to do a hair tutorial on my hair from this video. I can't actually remember what it was, I think it was a favourites video. Um, and loads of you have asked if I can do a tutorial on how I got that hairstyle. Um, so here we are, this is what I'm doing today. I'm going to be showing you how to do this hair, which is a Cheats Victory Roll tutorial. Now I have got really long hair and it comes down to my belly button and I just can't do Victory Rolls. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. I just can't do them and I think it's because my hair is just too long and it's super fiddly but I have found the perfect cheats way to get victory rolls and not have to mess around with trying to tie up all of your hair into a roll so keep watching if you would like to find out how to do really really easy victory rolls and how to recreate this super vintage do. Okay, so I've zoomed in a little bit, so hopefully you can see um, a little bit better what I'm doing. But basically you start with your hair, how it is normally, whether that's curly or straight, it doesn't really matter. Um, probably going to be a little bit easier if the top parts of your hair are straight, um, but at the ends you can do whatever you want with it because it's all going to be going up in a bun anyway. So we need one victory roll on this side and one victory roll on that side. I'm going to start with this side um, because it's a little bit easier to do and to show you how the technique actually works. So all we're going to need is a hair bubble and some bobby pins and that is it. Trust me on this one, it's really easy. So you want to start off by sectioning um, the front part of your hair. We need enough hair that covers all the way from up there down to your ear. You don't want to be stopping halfway. You can do if you want to, but um, to get the proper victory roll look we want to go all the way down to the ear level. So just start off by sectioning the front part of your hair, you can see there right down to the ear and get rid of all that because we don't need it uh, and you want to be working up there is no point um, working down here because we need our victory rolls to be standing right up here so you want to be working with everything you do back and up now if you were going to be doing a full victory roll you would need all of this hair in the roll and I normally end up getting in a tangled mess and it flops down and it just looks silly so this is the perfect cheat victory roll so we've got our front section of hair, now working backwards we're going to start to roll as we would do if we were starting at the ends, but we're going to start halfway through because we're only actually going to be rolling this section of hair and this bit we're going to be leaving to dangle freely, which is the cheats part. So basically roll it, you just roll it towards your hair as you would do if it was a normal victory roll. As you can see what I'm doing there, I'm kind of twisting it in to create that roll and pushing it up so we get a bit of height with it as well and then leaving that bit flat close to my head and I'm just going to secure it with the bobby pin through the roll flattening that bit of hair against my head so there you've got your first cheats victory roll as you can see it's got nice height there to it and you can also see the roll if you look down the top as well so that looks really cute the rest of the hair if you were wearing your hair down would just merge in with the rest of your hair so you wouldn't even know that it wasn't all up there but that doesn't matter because we're going to be tying it back in a minute anyway so we're going to move on to the other side this side you can either do with uh, if you've got fringe you can leave your fringe or your bangs you can leave those down and then uh, do a victory roll up with that bit of hair which also looks quite cute but what I'm going to do I'm going to take it all back with it now it's a little bit more fiddly because uh, the hair is of different lengths but we're basically just going to do the same thing again taking it right down to the ear so you've got a solid piece of hair when you pull it all up and back like that now we've got away with just using one bobby pin on this side but for this one we might need a few more but it's exactly the same technique as we did before roll the hair but only roll from halfway up so you turn it in like you would do and pin it right there now sometimes you might find it a little bit easier to pin from this side if you wanted to just to make sure that it was secure on both ends and also because this bit's a little bit shorter so you don't want it sort of slipping out halfway through the day you'll be able to feel where you need to pop the pins it's just where the roll hits the top of your head you want to just keep that bit flat so it's nice and tight to your head but you can see that this one's got a bit more of a roll there and that's the, that's the showstopper right there 
Okay, so now we've got our victory rolls in, we're literally just going to pull the rest of the hair up into a low, messy bun at the base of our neck. And I'm no bun expert, so all I do is I take two bubbles, I pop one uh, bubble in first, kind of catch all of my hair up into it, and then I use the other one to secure it into kind of a bun shape. I will try and show you what I mean, uh, but if you're really good at buns, you can obviously do a super, super neat one. But this is a cheats tutorial, it's meant to be really, really quick for in the mornings when you just don't know what to do with your hair. So let's Let's give it a go. So basically I just pull my hair back into a low ponytail, catch half of it in the bu in the bubble so I don't pull it all the way through and then uh, fasten it again with the bubble there. So as you can see half of it's caught, half of it's not. Wrap the spare bits around, just kind of hold it still and then use another bubble over the top um, just to fasten it in if I can show you. like so and then I'll just play around with it until I'm happy with the shape but that's kind of just held that in there into a sort of messy bun shape but there we go guys, that is it, a super easy cheats victory roll tutorial for uh, a simple vintage updo that can be done in literally minutes no matter how long your hair is. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, if you did please as always give it a giant thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share it with all your friends on Facebook and on Twitter by clicking the links down below. I also have a blog guys so um, don't forget to come and check me out, I'm at xameliarx.com, again I'll leave all the links for you down below but um, I hope you enjoyed watching, please do let me know in the comments what you thought uh, and also send me a picture on Twitter, tweet me at xameliarx if you've tried this look out, um, take a picture and let me know because um, I'd love to see you guys having a go at this super easy, hopefully, tutorial. If I can do it, anybody can. But thank you very much for watching as always and I will see you again soon. Bye!